Hello YouTube, Minecraft Festus here, and today I am back for another Redstone Saturday video. Now today we are going to be looking at this totally awesome Redstone printer. This was designed by a guy named Luke Fox. Shout out to him, I will leave his channel link in the description and the video link. But um, today we are going to be looking at this little printer right here. Let me just show you it in action. So basically the way it works is you sort of put your design down right right down here. We're going to draw like, I don't know, a derpy smiley face or something right down here and as you can see there we go that's our design we have to design a red steel blocks down here then when we go up here and flick this lever voila it will be magically not magically i'm going to explain the redstone behind it it will be semi-magically printed out through this amazing redstone printer right here and then we can stop it right here and voila, we have our derpy smiley face. Anytime we want to get rid of our derpy smiley face, we can just press this button right here, and it will get rid of the derpy smiley face. Now, what I have done is I have taken his old design. It was about four years old and slightly updated. It could be improved. It had a lot of work you had to do manually, and so I want I, I want to make everything automated. So what I did is I automated a lot more stuff, and I added some command blocks to make everything a whole lot easier. I added a comparator clock right here. I will still allow you to check out his video down in the description, but here is my sort of modded version of it. And so, yeah, let's get right into the video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Now, the way this little handy contraption works is, well, it's essentially just a bigger version of this little module right here. Basically, the way it works is this is where you place your redstone. Like, say you want to make, like, I don't know, something random like that. The way it works is that powers the pistons. The pistons push up um, a bunch of these blocks. And then, what the sand does is it pushes this layer right here out from under. So, then it gets pushed out. It basically ends up looking like this. That's basically the entire printer in a nutshell. In, like, the simplest way possible. I don't know if you quite understood that. But essentially what it does is it pushes out those. And it push, um, and it makes sand, like, push that all out from, from, um, out, out from this. So it ends up looking a bit like this. Or, that is, if you choose this terrible design idea um, for, like, a photo. Basically, this is just a bigger version of it. A way bigger version of it. Um... Actually, you can't uh, you can't have it be longer than six blocks because um, then um, the sand, since the sand is also six blocks, and pistons can pistons can push more than twelve blocks. So you can't and um, um, so when the sand like goes into one side, it's also pushing all the blocks. And since twelve divided by two is six, then you can't have more than six blocks basically. Um, which he was actually talking about in the video, but um. Basically, yeah, that's essentially the entire way it works. Now, to go into a bit more detail, what I have done here is I have um, automated it a bit more. I have made um, this, um, originally you would have to literally place in all the sand, and then you'd have to literally push it out manually. Um, but I have made this a lot easier with this little thing right here. See, this will trigger all the sand, and this will therefore push out the quote piece of paper, not really a piece of paper, really just a bunch of wool, but, um, basically, that's, yeah, it's really, really, it's really simple design, you, if I, if I, uh, gave a map download, which I don't actually know how to do, but if I gave a map download, you guys would be able to find this out on your own, but basically, the way that, um, um, the, um, what, what I've done, the way that I have made this different, is I have just added all of these command blocks. Now, what all these command blocks do is they reset it. So, after you do a big printing session, drawing this totally beautiful new painting, dots on the screen, um, after you finished doing dots on the screen, and you print it out, um, then everything is sort of a bit messy and ruined, like, you'll have to totally manually fix everything. That was one of, I feel like, sort of the main problems with his design of the um, of the printer. So what I've done is I've just put in like eight command blocks, which will reset the entire thing essentially. As you can see, when you press that, it just fills everything with air, or it fills it with wool and stuff. It, it will just essentially reset it to its original state. Now, yeah, that's that's really everything I can explain. Um. It it, 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 
it's really simple, like I've said for the millionth time. You can, um, you can, I would encourage you to actually, you could probably expand it a lot more, like a lot more this way. You expand it out this way, make it very far this way, make a large label maker thing that will like print out a sentence. Currently, you could only print out like hi or yo or something. Um, but yeah, that's. That's the whole printer in a nutshell. I will leave a link to um, his video in the description. It is a great video. I would recommend checking it out. Um, this is a much quicker version of it. His is 17 minutes long. But um, yeah, so that is um, that that's basically the entire way this printer works. Um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, leave a like, comment, subscribe, show some support. Build this, please do. It will it will help out. I I'm, I want to believe that I've actually made a difference to your Minecraft worlds. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. Um, leave a like, comment, subscribe, as I already said. And Minecraft Festus out. I will see you guys later.